Greetings, this is Kevin with IndieSoft Support, and I'll be hosting the uh, Tip Tuesday for the day. And today I want to talk about uh, database backups uh, if you're utilizing the Firebird database. Uh, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is uh, navigate to, in this case, this is a single user. So you'll want to navigate to the uh, program files IndieSoft single user folder and you'll want to locate the isbackup.exe utility. If your database is being hosted on a server then uh, you'll need to install the software on that server and navigate to that install folder and locate the isbackup.exe utility. Okay, So this isbackup utility uses the database settings to make the connection to the database. So if you're installing the software on a server to perform these backups, you'll need to set up your database settings and ensure that it's connecting to the database before you launch this backup utility. So once we launch the backup utility, our first step is going to be to go to the options menu and we're going to specify the location of the gback.exe utility and that is Firebird's backup utility. So we'll click that and we will navigate to where that gback.exe is located. In this case it's on your C drive. Uh, if it's 64-bit machine it's going to be in program files. If it's 32-bit uh, it'll be in this x86 folder here. We'll launch that and we'll go into we'll find the Firebird folder. We'll open that and we'll open up the Firebird underscore two underscore five folder and then the bin folder. And we'll select the gback.exe and click open. So now it knows where to go find the gback utility. Next setting is you want to uh, specify what location you want to back up the database to. Uh, you can back it up to your local C drive uh, or better yet you can even send it to a shared file uh, or, or mapped drive uh, to another server somewhere. In this case I'm going to the G drive into the my drive folder and then the DB backup folder. Okay. You can establish two separate locations to send this back up to. Uh, for redundancy and then you want to specify the file name that's going to get created. Uh, in this case indiedata.zip. Right. At this point you're ready to perform a manual backup of your database simply by clicking the start backup button. Okay, uh, And I will actually launch that here uh, shortly. Uh, if you want to automate it and set up a schedule to back up your database. You want to go to this options menu again and you want to select automatic backup settings. You'll want to enable auto backup and go ahead and check run with highest privileges. For your username and password you'll want to enter in your Windows account username and Windows account password. This is used to set up the task schedule that's going to launch this utility at the interval that you specify. Next, you'll set up the backup time, in this case 5.42 p.m. And you'll set the, the days that you wish to back up the database, Sunday through Saturday. Check whichever options apply to you. You may want to do it every day, you may want to do it three days a week, whatever. Uh, once you've established that, you'll click OK, and you should now be ready to perform a backup, automated backup, per the schedule that you selected. Uh, you can go in and open up Task Scheduler. Get that open here. And you should see in the task schedule library, you should see an IndieSoft backup 
IndieSoft Auto Backup job and it is ready and you can test this by clicking on the run option and you'll see that it's running okay and it will continue to run until the backup is complete now if I wanted to check and see if it's actually running I can go into the location which I'm sending the backup and you'll see here that there's the IndieSoft BAK being generated right now okay at the at the end of the backup it will zip up the file and give it the final indiedata.zip file name which I've specified in the backup utility will delete it, it will delete this BAK file so it is currently running and uh, has the current date time stamp all that information so you'll know that that's you know a current backup it does overwrite this backup every time the utility runs and uh, that's maintaining your database uh, the backup it's a good idea to back up your database for several reasons one protects your data two uh, it does some cleanup work on the database too to make it run a little more efficiently so uh, you definitely want to use this GBAC utility to perform your backups uh, another note is that this utility can back up the database while it's in use. Uh, so you could you could back it up in the middle of the day while people are using the software is fine. Uh, of course, it's it's ideal to do it after hours. Uh, but in any case, it can it can function that way. Uh, much better op uh, much better option than actually copying the database file from one machine to another machine or from one folder into another folder uh, there's less chance of, of corrupting the database in, in, in doing that method so highly recommend the backup utility highly rec recommend setting it up testing it thoroughly make sure everything's working as you suspect uh, that way if you ever get in a situation where you need to restore the database you can do so, uh, so in case this is still running looks like uh, it's currently zipping up the file as you can see that's growing as I refresh so that is the automated backup method uh, I said I was going to go over the manual method. Uh, I'm not sure that that's necessary, but I will do so. Uh, this looks like it may take a little while to finish. And of course, after you set this up, you can simply close the this IndieSoft database backup dialog window and uh, it'll automatically launch if you run into issues with permissions uh, sometimes the user doesn't have permissions to access task scheduler etc uh, you will want to make sure that this windows user has uh, log on as batch job permissions to run the schedule task uh, you can uh, search Google to learn how to turn that on as it would be a Windows function <coughs> or a Windows operation. Okay, uh, if you still have issues, uh, please contact us. We can set up alternative ways of doing this by bypassing this utility altogether and just launching some batch files from the task scheduler. Uh, sometimes there are in, in rare instances uh, situations where we just have to do it that way because of the way IT has permissions set up etc so uh, just give us a call if that's the issue or if that's uh, is a problem for you and uh, we'll get you set up that concludes this tip Tuesday hope you have a good day